Welcome to our deep dive into the JF-17 Thunder, a multi-role combat aircraft that's become a cornerstone of Pakistan's air power. JF-17 Thunder is the story of ambition, ingenuity, and a whole lot of guts. It's the result of a collaboration between Pakistan and China, two countries not exactly known for backing down from a challenge. This jet is a statement, a symbol that says, we're here, we're capable, and we're not afraid to fly in the face of convention. So, buckle up as we break down the JF-17 Thunder, from its design and capabilities to its global impact. We're talking dogfights, export deals, and the future of air power, all wrapped up in one sleek, mean fighting machine. Picture this, it's the late 20th century, the Cold War is winding down, but the world's still a pretty tense place. Pakistan, caught in a geopolitical tug of war, needs to upgrade its aging air force. Enter the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex PAC and China's Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, CAIG, ready to shake things up. The result? The JF-17 Thunder, a testament to what happens when ambition meets innovation. Let's delve into the nuts and bolts of the JF-17 Thunder. The JF-17 had its first flight in 2003 and was inducted into the Pakistan Air Force PAF, by 2007. Its primary purpose? A multi-role fighter, capable of air superiority, ground attack, and even maritime strike operations. Now, let's talk specifications. This single-seat fighter is 14.93 meters long, with a wingspan of 9.48 meters and a height of 4.8 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is 12,000 kilograms, with an empty weight of 6,600 kilograms, and it boasts a payload capacity of up to 3,650 kilograms. Performance-wise, the JF-17 can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.6, has a range of 1,200 kilometers with drop tanks, and can soar to a service ceiling of 16,000 meters. It climbs at a rate of 230 meters per second, making it a formidable presence in the skies. Under the hood, you'll find the RD-93 engine, a Russian-designed power plant based on the MiG-29's RD-33. This engine delivers 50 kilonewtons of thrust, giving the JF-17 a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 0.89 when fully armed. When it comes to armament, the JF-17 is no slouch. It's equipped with a 23mm GSH-23 twin-barrel cannon and has seven hardpoints for missiles and bombs. It can carry air-to-air -air missiles like the PL-5E and PL-12, air-to-ground missiles such as the C-802 and YJ-83, and precision-guided munitions like the GBU-12 and GBU-16. For naval strikes, it can even be equipped with torpedoes. The avionics suite includes the KLJ-7 Pulse Doppler radar with a range of 100 kilometers, capable of multi-target tracking in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes. It also features an integrated self-defense system and a digital fly-by-wire flight control system for enhanced maneuverability. As for variants, the JF-17 has evolved significantly, 